Welcome back. Michael Bublé has dedicated his career to maintaining the Great American Songbook, a five-time Grammy winner. He's had listeners feeling good, just like the song to the tune of well over 75 million records sold worldwide. That's a lot of records. That's impressive. Uh, he'll, he's going to add to that number when his new Greatest Hits album, The Best of Bublé, that's going to drop on Friday. First, though... He's going to make his debut as a coach on The Voice when season 26 premieres tonight, right here on NBC. In fact, here's a sneak peek. Are you hungry? What? Are What's you hung that? What are you eating? I have spent most of my life wanting to know what Snoop Dogg tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and bought these. That's next. While you decide what you're going to do. Let him taste one. I'm going to just give you the whole bag, Jake. You just hold it. <laughs> oh, man. These are... These are popping. Dude, you are flavorful. <laughs> Michael Bublé, you're flavorful as well. Welcome back. Welcome Thanks. Back. Nice to see you, bud. Ch the chips, are they tasty? I'm going to be honest. I know I'm not here to push them, but uh, yeah. they might be the most delicious wrap snacks I've ever had. They're really good, really tasty. What are Very, they His Snoop has barbecue flavor. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. I, so they come highly recommended for Michael <laughs> Bublé. Yeah. I brought them on the show, and I could see the producers panicking right away because, you yeah. know, the ad that I didn't ask to do. But yeah. Um, it's great, man. We're having a blast over So there. let's talk about The Voice tonight, because you've done just about everything else except sure. be a judge on The Voice. When they called, were you like, absolutely? I, no. Okay. F 15, 16 years of saying no. But the truth is, my favorite part about it is, and it's okay, you said judge. Yeah. But thank God we're not judges. The other shows have judges. That's we true. are coaches. That's true. And, coach. and the reason I say that is because most of the singers are better than me, and I have no place ever judging any one of them. So to get to coach them and live yeah. the fantasy of having this career that I've had and then get to have the fulfillment of helping someone else get that, yeah. that's, the, that's the cool part of it. Are you predicting a win this season, or is it too yeah. early to tell? Man, my team is good. Oh, My yeah. team is really good, yeah. Okay. But all, everybody's got good stuff happening on their team. Reba's the defending champ. Reba's amazing. We call her Reba Magnetire. Because Reba Magnetire. when the chair turns around, it's like you, the people just love her and that smile and whack. And Gwen is never Stefani because she just like has a stream of consciousness. She's really highly intelligent, yeah. tells it like it is. And Snoop, you know, my, Snoop my Snoop. uncle Snoop, man. And uh, everybody loves her. We By the way, speaking of Snoop, we saw this picture on your Instagram over the weekend, yeah. and that's one of your kids. They're wearing a, a T-shirt. I think we've got the picture. They're wearing this. There it is right oh, there. Oh, death row, baby. What's, give me the backstory here. Well, the backstory is my daughter, when I went to go meet Snoop the first time, she out of the blue, she said, Poppy, are you going to sing with Snoop Dogg? And I said, yeah, I'm going to go do a thing. Yeah. I said, how do you, you know Snoop Dogg? And she said, yes. She said, every morning, my teacher, Miss Basile, uh -huh. plays Snoop affirmations. And she said, Alexa, play Snoop Dogg affirmations. And every morning, the kindergarten class yeah. would listen to Uncle Snoop doing it. So I showed Snoop, the I, my daughter made a video for him. Mm -hmm. And honestly, he was, he's such a beautiful, he he's a deep, you know, beautiful guy. And uh, we just, that was like a great sense of connection. We hit it off. We're like, he's like, he's the best. I mean, we're all, we're literally family on this show. It's he's hilarious. So, and that Carson Daly, he's pretty cool too. Carson's the, our dad. Yeah, the gold standard. Carson's the Carson's dad. Carson's dad. Carson's, the, sure you've, Carson's you've, our you've amazing been, dad. So you got a big week. We got the voice night. And then later this week, your album's going to drop. Tell yeah. us about this greatest hits album. Uh, it's uh, the best of. It's funny, man. With my humor, I was like, why don't we call it Michael Bublé's greatest hit? And it's a self-deprecating Canadian thing. And they were like, we don't think that's a good idea. Uh, I'm they talked man, you out of it. You know what's amazing, man? 20, over 20 years, I'm sentimental about it. I have never, there's not a note that's left my mouth without it meaning a lot to me. And I've had this really genuine, beautiful connection yeah. with all these gorgeous souls in the last 21 years. And uh, man, when I think about all the Im amazing co-writers and duets and the, the arrangers and the musicians and all the partnerships and producers, it's, uh, it's, it's really sentimental to have that moment where you can share that with an audience. You seem very reflective this morning. Well, you know what I mean? It's uh, best of record makes you reflective. And I think, um, I know I look Sexy, yeah. You do. Very, I mean, one of the sexiest men that's ever been <laughs> in the studio. It's true. <laughs> Certainly the sexiest Canadian. But, I mean, there's a lot of time to reflect on. Listen, dude, I, I worked so hard. I worked from, like, 16, 17 in the clubs. Never thought I'd get signed. Yeah. Got signed pretty late, 27, 26, 27. So the fact that I'm sitting here with you yeah. on the Today Show, 
it's it's never it never uh, it never gets old, and I never I never stop being really uh, appreciative. It's it's cool to see you in this light in this moment because I know you prayed for this life that you live right now. Yeah. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm blessed. And you still managed to find time to coach your kids lacrosse team. I am a terrible coach. Uh, I, we have a coach named Kevin who's the head coach, and he knows what he's doing. He's a great player. Yeah. And me, I'm my job is open the bench <laughs> and close the bench. And it goes about as far as me counting how many children are coming on and coming off. We need two. But, but we you, need one. But you played lacrosse, right? I, mean, I played a bit. I played okay. hockey, lacrosse. I, play, I love sports, man. I'm like, you just throw a ball and I'm like a dog. I'll just go get it. What can't you do, Michael Bublé? I don't know. What can't you do? We don't know yet. Mike's going to stick around for the fourth hour as well. And again, the best of Bublé. The best of Bublé. That album is out on Friday. It's okay. It's his greatest hit. And you can catch him on tonight's season premiere of The Voice, 8, 7 Central, right here on NBC. Streaming, of course, the next day over, over on Peacock. Ooh, That's a great that. picture. We look good. Man. Very popular. A lot of paparazzi outside that car. We are back in a moment. This is today <laughs> on NBC. You are the best. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.